The electrical storm is approaching faster than we thought. Can we take shelter here? Sadly, no. With the lightning and waves from the storm, nowhere on the island or the water is safe. <laughs> Good thing the last VIPs are being rounded up. VIPs? Very important penguins. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Ugh. Remind me why these birds are so important? The yellow-eyed penguin is one of the rarest penguins on Earth. There are only 4,000 of them known to exist. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to count them. Oh, oh, gotcha. Come on, little fella, back in line. Okay, that's all of them. You mean besides those two? What? <laughs> Looking for these fellas? Oh, come on. Uh, where are Wedge and Whirl? Making a final check of the island to make sure we aren't missing any. We better call them back. Boulder is unsure how this storm will affect the Sigma, so we gotta go. Wedge, Whirl, this is Hoist. Do you read me? We just about you. Back to Sigma. We'll leave soon. Okay, I think I understood that. We're on our way back. The electrical storm must be interfering with communications. Good thing we've got all the penguins rounded up. You two are lucky we found you. Don't be frightened. You need to come with us. It's not safe here. Hoist, we need a little more time. We found two penguins, and they're kind of shy. Got it. Come as quick as you... Ow! We'll wait for... Hey, put that down! Don't touch that! What is going on back there? You really shouldn't be doing that. Wait, stop! I can't... Whoa! <sighs> Come back! I know you're a hungry little guy, but please don't lick the Sigma Drive. No, that's the eject! <laughs> <sighs> Fruits? One of the penguins keeps jumping up and down on the lever. Uh. Oh. Whoa. New plan. We'll deliver these penguins to the habitat we prepared for them, then come back for the others. Do we have time before the storm? It'll be close, but these penguins are a handful. If we don't fly the ship now, we might not have a ship to fly. We'll stay on the island until you get back, Professor Boulder. Yeah, we'll help get Whirl and Wedge to the beach. We shall be prepared for your return. Hmm, I wish there was another option. Oh boy. Stick together, recruits. Remember your training and be careful. I'll be back soon. At least he's got the penguins under control. Kinda. Come in, Hotshot. Come in, Hoist. Come in, Medics. They're not answering. I wish I could tell these guys there's a storm coming. They wouldn't want to get back to their nest if they knew the whole island is about to get hit by giant waves. Ugh. Ugh. There you are. We need to get back to the beach, fast. We'd be there already if Stan and Holly didn't keep escaping. Huh? We named them. Maybe we can speed this up in vehicle mode. Tried that. They kept jumping out of my scoop. I mean a vehicle with seat belts and closing doors. Fine, but you're all helping clean my upholstery after this. Stop running around, that tickles. Professor Boulder. He went to deliver the first batch of penguins, but we thought he'd be back by now. Penguin safe. Storm. Sigma can't fly. Your orders. 
It appears that we are on our own. We can still complete the mission. Whirl and I can fly the penguins to safety. You guys can wait here. A storm can't hurt rescue bots. What was that? It appears to have been some kind of electromagnetic pulse. Mio, stick to the plan. Fly those penguins to safety. I can't transform. Me neither. I can't even use my winch whips. I believe that electric pulse shut down all of our Cybertronian abilities. It will take time for our systems to recover. Time's the one thing we don't have. Think, team. How do we get these penguins to safety without tech? I remember watching an Earth movie about a man trapped on an island with a volleyball for a friend. He built a raft and escaped. I don't know what a volleyball is, but we can't build a raft without tools. We still have our greatest tool. Is it an invisible hammer? Unless I am mistaken, hoist is referring to our brains. Yeah, we need to work fast. Look for anything that might be useful and bring it down to the beach. We can still do this. a raft out of this stuff. We'll use the shells to cut the wood and rope it together with seaweed. It doesn't need to be pretty, just usable. You know, it's great what you can do with just your brain and a team. We should ask Boulder if we can go on missions like this all the time. Okay, it's not that great, but it does make a nice change. We did it! And just as the rain stopped. Aw, after all that work? At least we're safe. That's strange. The beach has grown. The tide sure went out fast. I've heard about this. It's what happens right before a giant wave hits. Oh. The lightning is no longer a danger, but that wave is. We need to get out of here before it hits. Quick, grab Stan and Holly. Um, where are they? What is with these penguins? Don't they want to be rescued? Do you think they ran back to their nest again? We'll go check. You get the raft down to the water. There's still time if we move fast. What could be so important that those penguins would run into danger to get back to their nest? Oh. I guess that explains it. We had enough trouble with two of them. How are we supposed to move five? I have an idea. Why are you walking like that? Wedge, is part of you damaged? Only my pride. It worked, didn't it? I thought there were only two penguins. Meet Mary, Curly, and Mo. They're new, really, really new. I'd love to hang out with them, but the wave's about to hit the island. We need to hurry. Hold on tight, everyone. Now paddle! According to my admittedly simple calculations, it will take us days to reach land again. I think they're okay with that. Uh, guys, do you know how to surf? Because I think we're about to get a hands-on lesson. the yellow-eyed penguins are safe. And as soon as the storm clears, we can find them a new home. You recruits did well. Despite all the obstacles in your way, you used your brains and got the job done. Come back! Look at that! We could use a little help in here. Uh, I better get back to the ground bridge. I think that was the rescue bot alarm. Huh? I don't hear anything. 
Good work, recruits. Keep it up. Roll out. Can you pass me a number three sonic wrench, please, Heatwave? Thank you, Cody. Your help working on these small circuits is invaluable. As you see, with hands my size. Cody! This is Hoist! Please respond! Over! I can hear you, Hoist. No need to shout. Aw, that's disappointing. I was trying to make a new comm system that humans can't hear. I based it on some Earth tech I found. I call them talky squawkies. But I can hear you because I'm standing right next to you. Maybe you should try sending a message from somewhere else. Hmm. Good point, Cody. Come in, world. I need you to send a test message to Cody. Come on, Cody. Let's continue our system check elsewhere. Come in, world. Heatwave and Cody? Come in, Heatwave and... Oh. Um, Hoist, I'm not sure the test works if they're actually in the same room as me. <sighs> we'll be in my office. Peace at last. Testing, Heatwave and Cody, come in. This is Maddox. Ugh, we can hear you. Um, actually, Heatwave, I didn't hear anything that time. Hmm. It works! Now we'll be able to use these talky squawkies on missions in Milford to help us avoid human detection. Maybe. When they've been properly tested and our recruits have been trained to use them, new things must be treated with extra care. You really shouldn't be in bot form this close to Milford. You might be seen. Relax. Heatwave chose today for this mission because it's so quiet. All the humans are at the Milford Founders Festival show in the arena. I heard they play the Milford anthem to fireworks at the end. I want to see that. And we will, from a safe distance. That was the last one. Good work. Now it's time to return to the academy and... Hotshot? Relax, the cars are gone. The people must be at the show. Besides, how often do we get to play with puppies? Retrieve. I believe the correct term is fetch. These pups are amazing. It doesn't matter where the stick goes. They always seem to find it. We should get back to base. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. One second. Ah, oh, told ya. Amazing. We will be late. Okay. See ya, Shep. See ya, Lou. Testing, Hotshot and Wedge, come in. Testing. We can hear you, Hoist. Oh, hold on, Hoist. There seems to be a disturbance at the Milford Hill Farm. Maybe we should go and investigate. I could do with your help back here, Hotshot. I want to spend the whole morning running tests over the Academy speaker system. The whole morning? Hand me that walkie, talky, squawky thingamabot. Hotshot, it is vital that you investigate. In fact, it is so important that I shall send your fellow students to help immediately. Take all the time you need. You can continue testing these things tomorrow, or possibly next month. They seem to have calmed down. I wonder what spooked them. Hello, Shep. There's the farm. <gasps> the farmer's back. I guess he didn't go to the Founders show. We need to warn Hotshot and Wedge. I'll use my talky squawky system. I didn't think Heatwave wanted us using that in the field until it'd been properly tested. He'd understand. This is an emergency. Wow, those pups can find that stick anywhere. Watch out, Hotshot. There's a human approaching right now. <laughs> Oh, no, Wedge, shut the gate! Oh, I really shouldn't have left that open. Huh? That was close. We need to get those dogs back before the farmer realizes they're missing. I don't see how we can. The dogs ran towards Milford. 
Milford is quiet today because of the festival. And we've got my new talkie squawkies, so we can warn each other before any humans see us. Rescue bot recruits, roll out. We need to move quickly. Once the festival show ends, the crowds will empty out of the stadium and fill the streets. But it will take hours to search the city. We'll have a better chance if we split up. Wedge and I know what the puppies look like, so we should each lead a team. And remember, use your talkie squawkies to stay in touch. show once where an officer tried to think like the person they were trying to find. So, if you guys were a dog, where would you go? Hmm, is there a squeaky toy store in Milford? <gasps> hey, they remember me. Oh, smart doggies, I'm pleased to see you guys. We should let the others know we found them. Wedge, medics, this is Hoist. We've located the missing dogs. Hey, come back! Uh, scratch that. We did have them. Hmm, you don't think... No time for thinking, Whirl. We have to catch those pups. We're chasing them down Main Street. Uh, if they didn't keep running down alleyways, we could use our vehicle forms. They're way faster than us. There's no way we'll catch them before. Do you mind, Hoist? The Gloombot commentary is not helping. Sorry. Whoa, shh. Nobody spooked them. I'll let the others know. Hoist, wait. I think it's the talky squawkies that are upsetting them. Whirl, that's highly unlikely. <laughs> Wedge, medics, we've located. Oh, where are the dogs? I thought you had them. They ran off again. It looks like my new comm system is the problem. I guess this is why Heatwave said it's important to be careful when trying new things. Come on, they can't have gone far. And we know how to stop them from running away this time. Okay, all we have to do now is stay off Hoist's dog-scaring devices and take them back to the farm. But. Does anyone know where we are? Hmm. We were running around so much, I lost track. It's okay. We can just use our regular comm system to contact the Academy and call a ground bridge. Actually, uh, we can't. I had to disconnect our old system to test the new one. I have to be back at the Academy to reactivate it. So how do we find our way home? We must act quickly. That's the Milford Anthem. It's the cue for the fireworks and the end of the festival show. I'm sorry. I should have been more careful with my new talkie squawkies. It's my fault we don't know the way home. Don't worry. We might not know the way, but I know someone who does. Huh? huh? Shep, Lou, <laughs> fetch the stick. <laughs> Rescue bot recruits, roll out. them. Transform! We did it! We got them home! I can't wait to tell Heatwave! Um... Oh, right. Maybe I'll tell him in person. So you were right, Heatwave. I should have been more careful with my system then you all learned a valuable lesson. But I'm interested, Hoist. What human tech did you base your talkie squawkies on? This, a device that makes a sound outside the range of human hearing. Hoist, that's a dog whistle. So that's why all the dogs got excitable. 
Now that's loud. Cut it out! <laughs> Looks like that's not just a dog whistle. It's a bot whistle, too. <laughs> Remember, a successful traffic stop starts with being prepared. Check, check, check. Hotshot, what do we do? Um, check? Check what? Everything? You are not wrong. Oh, oh. Yes, Swirl? Check vehicle wiper function. Check each light. Check tires for hazardous wear and huh? or tear. Check that your class is still awake. Which we totally are, Professor Chase. It is tricky to capture the real thrill of a routine traffic stop in a classroom setting. This may be the time to test a new simulation game in Hero Hall. I call it Traffic Stop Policing. Simulation 12.8 version 3C. Catchy. When can we play? Now? How about now? Why are we still here? You are all well prepared for this exercise. Just remember to check, check, check. 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 Well, I'm not sure I've managed to review everything we've learned about traffic stops, but I think I've covered the basics. This sim is going to be so boring. Just put me in a stasis pod and wake me when you're done. I think it will be informative. Sims are usually fun. Not when Professor Chase makes them. I had a great afternoon planned. Just me and my new computer game, Invasion of the Giant Hedgehogs. Hotshot, tell me I'm a genius. Hotshot, you're a genius. Goodbye, boring assignment, and hello, giant hedgehogs. Hotshot, since when are you first to a sim? Since I can't wait to play Professor Chase's awesome game. Before you start, do you remember what to do in the event of a taillight failure? Shouldn't you check taillights before you go anywhere? Excellent point, medics. I will leave you to your simulation and check, check, check on you later. Ha, ha, ha. Yay! Time to start writing tickets and taking names. Except change tickets to hedgehogs and taking names also to hedgehogs. Hedgehogs? I swapped Chase's simulation for my new game. No need to thank me. When are we ever gonna face giant hedgehogs on a rescue mission? You're not seeing the big picture here. You're with me, right, Whirl? I am not with you. Hero Hall isn't for games. When you see how exciting this is, you'll love it. That would be a car. You mean my game didn't work? Yay! Version 3C is back on. I got this. Lights, operational. Tire pressure, acceptable. Vehicle color, brown. Bold choice. Aha! The windshield wipers have worn down. Luckily, I always carry spares. All done. You're free to go, sir. <gasps> Ooh, a coin. Cool. Look, it follows me when I move. You have to jump up to collect it. If you'd wasted more time playing games, you'd know that. I'll take this one. Going up. And coming down. Done. <laughs> mm-hmm, I see. Diagnosis, wrong tires for the road surface. Hey, I got a gold coin! <clears throat> I mean, I am satisfied to see my thorough preparation has paid off with a successful outcome. I'll take this one. And maybe hurry? Have a nice day. That's four gold coins! We're rich! And more importantly, we're learning how preparation helps pretend humans deal with pretend car problems. Sure, but I wanted giant hedgehogs. Whoa, we have a speeder. I know I'm prepared for that. Coming through. Chase didn't say anything about mountain driving. to do that. One 
speeding ticket. I hope you've learned your lesson about safe driving. Someone could have gotten hurt back there. <coughs> like me. How'd it go? Absolutely no problems, and at no point was I completely terrified. Now that we've all got our coins and aced Chase's game, let's go. Hey, what? Ah, seriously? Oh, sorry, Hotshot, but it looks like we can't leave until we finish the sim. It would appear you are not prepared for that outcome. We just need to keep on doing what we're doing, and we'll finish the... Whoa, what are they? That, my friends, would be the giant hedgehogs. The two games must have combined. The fun's about to start. What are we supposed to do? Hedgehogs don't have tires or windshield wipers. There's only one rule. Save the Earth from giant hedgehogs. And we do that how? Well, we've got plenty of time to decide. They walk really slow. You were saying, run! Sorry, Hotshot, but I really don't see how this is more fun than Chase's game. At least it can't get any worse. Why did you have to say that? First, ew. Second, how? Ugh, hedgehog goo. It's not coming off. Only one thing to do. Uh-uh. Do not! This is not the proper protocol for emergency removal of a bot! This way! Now what? I vote we get me out of this goo. Oh, I have an idea, but you're probably not going to like it. Uh-oh! Wow! Are we at least getting gold coins for this? I am so loving this game! Seriously? We just outran giant hedgehogs. We are living the dream. It sounds like we have different dreams. Woohoo! Um, Hotshot, how does your game manual say we stop the hedgehogs? Wait, it came with a manual? Preparation fail, Hotshot. <laughs> I'm feeling very unprepared and uncertain right now. Okay, since it's kind of my fault yep. that we're in this mess, yep. and since I'm an expert computer game player... Who doesn't read manuals? I'll deal with the hedgehogs. Prepare to be amazed. Unlikely. <laughs> that looked painful. Ow. Ugh. I'm good. Uh, ready to try that again? Do you think that was part of his plan? That would assume he has a plan. Ow! Don't worry! Ow! I think I'm wearing them out! Ow! Hang in there, Hotshot! You're doing great! He's not doing great, is he? We need to think through a solution. I could always stop the sim from the underfloor control panel, but we'll need to distract the hedgehogs while I work. I think Hotshot's got that under control. He can't keep it up forever. We need to help him. How? We aren't prepared for any of this. Wait, maybe we are. We just need to use what Professor Chase taught us. Follow me. Emergency pull-off lane complete. Time to write this speeder a ticket. Ha! And that is why you should always pre-check your wiper blades before any long trip. Looks like you got a flat there, buddy. Better stay off the road for a while. Now I just gotta turn off the sim. Look out, hoist! We're yeah. back! Sorry your game wasn't as much fun as you'd hoped, Hotshot. It's my fault. I could have been more prepared. Look on the bright side. At least you learned what Professor Chase was trying to teach us. I'll make sure I read the manual next time. Next time? And not mess with an assignment. So, how did my new game go? On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being scrap with attack, and 10 being most incredible simulation ever. 10! Except the hedgehogs. 
Perhaps I will make version 4C even harder. Hang, hang on. What hedgehogs? Roll out! Don't worry, Hoist. It's just a bee. Humans need to be careful around them because bees can sting, but we're safe. This is fun. It's like giving the ground a haircut. <gasps> Little less soil wedge. Good work, everybody. Why are we planting a garden again? We're providing homes and food for creatures and insects, like the bees who pollinate the flowers. And it looks nice. Yeah, but this job is way too small for rescue bot recruits. We're supposed to be learning how to save humans, not planting daisies. Every living thing on Earth is connected. So in a way, planting daisies is saving humans. Huh? Mm -hmm. I must be missing something. Where are we going, sir? Rather than explain today's lesson, I think it's better if I show you. Wonder what simulation he's starting for us. Whatever it is, I know it'll be exciting. Yeah, an erupting volcano, a massive earthquake, planet Velocitron, or even... a farm. There's a forest at the edge of the property, and the forest is on fire. Yeah, now that's more like it. Your task, however, is not to stop the fire. What? But to move Farmer Tough Luck Chuck and his creatures to the safe zone. You have four minutes to complete the task. When you're done, hit the button to stop the clock. And remember, recruits, everything is connected. Okay, team, let's split up. Hotshot, you get the chickens. Consider them saved. Medics and Hoist, check the milking shed. Whirl, you find Chuck. Looks like it's you and me, Daisy. This should be easy. <laughs> or not. Hey, slow down. I'm trying to help you. <clears throat> there. That's what humans call a milking shed. How exactly does one milk a shed? I think it's for milking cows. That makes so much more sense. The anxious bovines appear to be locked inside. Not for long. Cows, if you would calmly follow me, we can... Ah! Take you to safety. <laughs> Ew. I believe that is called a cow patty, but ew works too. Hello? Chuck? Where are you? Hmm. Worth a try. I need a bird's eye view. Here, chicken chickens. Here, chicken ch Ugh, shoo, bees. Can't you see I'm busy? Hmm. Oh, you like that, huh? Well, if I can't push you, and I can't pull you, I'm just gonna have to carry you. Impressive. <gasps> that can't be good. that fell down a well, he's doing surprisingly well. Let's get him to the safe zone. <laughs> Pretty good imitation, huh? <gasps> we did it! And with time to spare. Thank <laughs> you.
Easy peasy, Energon squeezy. Hmm. It was a walk in the farm. <coughs> What's that? Fail noise. We didn't accomplish the mission. How is that possible? What did we miss? It's not a test if I give you the answer. You need to pay closer attention to the little things. Ready to try again? And your time starts now. Up to Daisy. I thought by now you'd know not to do that. <laughs> you were saying? Yeah! <laughs> we failed again. What? No! How is that even possible? Or logical. There are no significant life forms left to save. Do you think the simulator could be broken? Hero Hall, show us what happened to the farm after the fire went out. The farm's a disaster. I don't understand. What did we do wrong on our rescue? Were there creatures we didn't see? Hidden somewhere? There was only what you saw. Why don't you take a break and think about it? I can't believe we failed such a simple mission. What's not to believe? Did you not hear the fail noise? Not helping, medics. That looks like a good way to get out your frustration. Can I try? Sure. Whoa. Uh. Oh, you make it look so easy. Don't think about catching the cube yet. First, work on your jump. You have to start with good form if you want a great outcome. You mean I shouldn't look at the end for answers. I should look at the beginning. Well, that's what I just... Follow me, everyone! Follow you where? Not where! When! Hero Hall, show us the farm, please. What are you doing? This is how the disaster ended, but if we want the answer, we need to see how it began. I like your logic. That's a great idea, Whirl. She got it from me. <sighs> Freeze! Look, the destruction started with the flowers. But what happened to them? This morning, the answer was on the tip of your nose. It was? The bees. We didn't save the bees. Exactly. Remember what Boulder said. Everything on Earth needs everything else. So without bees, there's nothing to pollinate the flowers, crops, and trees. And those things are food for bigger animals. No wonder the animals left. There was nothing for them to eat. So... Ready to try the mission again, recruits? Does Hoist step in cow patties? I'll take that as a yes. Yeah! Okay, team, now we just have to save the bees. How much time do we have left? One minute! Maybe we can tell them to get back in their hives and carry them out. Great. You speak, honeybee. Whirl, can you blow them back inside? How's it <laughs> going? Great. Unless you actually wanted the bees to go into the hives. Let me give it a try. <gasps> this is impossible. Logic dictates that if we can't herd the bees and we can't catch them, there is only one solution, and that is to lure them. With what? Hmm, got it. Let's hope this works. Hey, I smell good. The bees think so too. We did! Yeah! Victory dance! <laughs> Oh, come on! Nice job. So, what did you recruits learn from today's test? That everything on Earth needs everything else. Like we're all part of one team. Right. Every creature is important. And there are no small rescues. 
Speaking of rescues, perhaps someone should assist Chuck? Well, quite a welcoming committee. I assume this means your homework's done. Uh... uh was the mission a success? Did you find any Energon? Not sure yet. We collected some samples from the asteroid, but we still have to run some tests. I like the one with the stripes. May we assist with the testing? Or even just check them out? Look at that one. It's glowing. Weird. Until Boulder can find out more about these, it'll be better if you just stay away from them. I'm putting them in my office for safekeeping. If anybody's going to take a risk, it'll be us. Now get back to your martial arts assignment. A few more adjustments and... There! I've turned Chuck into the perfect self-defense practice partner. Who wants to go first? Let's see what you got, buddy. Well, how am I supposed to spar with him when he's doing this? He's not sparring, he's dancing. Uh-oh. Yeah, but he's really good at it. It is quite impressive. Congratulations, Hoist. Not exactly what I had in mind. Recruits. Um, sorry, Professor Heatwave, but Chuck and I are kind of... I have more important things to discuss. One of the rock samples we brought back is missing from my desk. How did that happen? Which one? The weird glowing one. The rock hotshot mm -hmm. liked? Exactly. With all due respect, sir, perhaps you just misplaced it. No, and it couldn't have just stood up on my desk and walked away on its own, could it? So somebody must have taken it, and it wasn't me or Boulder. Maybe it was a prank. Maybe it was an accident. It doesn't matter. Just prove to me that you know how to do the right thing. Return the rock by the end of the day. I won't ask any questions, and no one will be punished. If it's not, well, then all of you will be. Even Chuck? <sighs> all right, Hotshot. Just put the rock back before we all get in trouble. What? You're blaming me? You were admiring it earlier. That doesn't mean I took it. Besides, Wedge, we've been together the whole time since Heatwave got back. Almost the whole time. We went our separate ways briefly before gathering back here for Hoist's, um, demonstration. Right. So why don't you just tell the truth? I didn't take the rock. And, you know, I gotta say, I'm kind of insulted that you think I would steal and lie. I believe you, Hotshot. I don't think he did it. Why not? I can tell his feelings are really hurt, and I can see why. You're supposed to be his friends, and friends should trust each other. Imagine what that's like. I know I wouldn't like being treated that way, so I believe him. You're right. I'm sorry, Hotshot. I shouldn't have judged you so quickly. It's okay. I just want to find the rock and prove that none of us did it. But logically, it has to be one of us. Or maybe there's a different explanation. Right. I say we follow Heatwave's advice, work together to find the rock, and prove none of us took it. Yes. Great idea. All for one. We can cover more ground quicker if we split up. Chuck, you stay here. Ah, got it. Right next to Hotshot's gear. Maybe I was a little too quick to apologize to him. Wedge, you found it. And rather quickly, I might add. Almost like you knew exactly where it was. What are you talking about? I found it right here, next to Hotshot's stuff. And you're accusing me? Hotshot said he didn't take it, and I believe him. But you don't believe me. I am merely relying on the evidence in front of me, which is... The evidence right here says... Where'd the rock go? Hotshot, he took it again! Aha! Now, try to tell us that you don't have the rock. Okay, 
I don't have the rock. But where could it be? Don't ask me. I'm more confused than ever. We found it! They found it. Who put it there? It was here when Hoist and I came in. Something strange is definitely going on. Look, I don't care who or what or why. We found it. That's the important thing. So I'm just going to return the thing to Heat Wave and... like any rock I've ever seen. That's because it's obviously not a rock. It must be some sort of space creature. Heatwave must have thought it was a rock and brought it back by accident. We better catch that thing before it causes more trouble. Which Heatwave will blame us for. Come on, check the hallway, look upstairs and down. Got you! Ah! Open the door. I'll grab it when it runs out. Ready? One, One two, two, three! <gasps> Where'd he go? We thought he was in there. He was, but he got away and then... Come on! Shot, I pushed it already. Yeah, but pushing it a lot makes it get here faster. I'm not sure that's how it works. Sure, he can walk on walls, remember? Yeah, every time we go near him, he manages to get away. Well, that's it. Stop, everybody. Don't go near him. What are you talking about? Like Whirl said before, imagine what it's like to be him. Well, if a bunch of strangers were running after me, I'd try to get away too. Maybe he's only running because we're chasing him. We don't want to hurt you, buddy. <laughs> He's probably just as afraid of us as we are of him. We just want to say hello. See? We're friendly. Hey, look! He likes being scratched behind his ear. You know, if he had an ear. You're right. Little Rock Dude probably just wants to go home. Poor little guy. Can you imagine going to sleep in outer space, then waking up on a completely different planet? I bet Professor Heatwave knows exactly what that's like. Yeah, we just need to explain it all to him. Heatwave's not here. We'll just put our new buddy back, like he said. What's going on? Well, what do you know? You did it. And I'll keep my promise. No questions asked. I have a feeling you might have one or two. You see, Professor Heatwave, this rock you brought back... I said I don't need explanations. I'll take the specimen to the lab and examine it there. But, Professor Heatwave... Get back to training, all of you. Huh. All this trouble over a silly rock. What in Cybertron? We tried to tell him. I guess I was wrong. He did sprout legs and walk off by himself. Thanks for finding him, team. Bye, little Have rock a good life dude. on your asteroid. Ah! A hand? 
Wow! He's full of surprises, isn't he? Hey! <laughs> Welcome back, recruits. A snowy rescue is never easy. You've earned a break. Thank you, Heat Wave, sir. Those poor hikers, that blizzard came out of nowhere. Yeah, a total whiteout. Indeed, my visor vision was reduced to a mere 28%. <laughs> Good thing there was a super team of rescue bot recruits nearby, huh, guys? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Affirmative. True that. <laughs> Who said that? It's a dog. <laughs> he must have followed us back through the ground bridge. Are you lost, little fella? We'll take care of you. Ah, uh, you are aware of Academy Rule 78B, subsection C, no pets allowed, right? Sure, but there's got to be some exceptions. I mean, how can you say no to this adorable face? The little guy looks cold and hungry, too. But the penalty for breaking a rule is to sit out on multiple rescues. We'll only keep him here for a little while. Our teachers won't even have to know. Normally, I would point out the foolishness of such misguided logic. However, this canine is incredibly cute. <gasps> Aw, he must want to go back to the snow to play. I've got a better idea. Go get it, Speedy. Speedy? No, we can't call him that. Why not? He is Speedy. Guys! I think we can come up with a better name. Guys! <clears throat> Blades! <clears throat> Blades! You feeling okay, Hoist? <clears throat> Blades! That cough does sound odd. Let me have a look. Well, I didn't know there was a cube game schedule today. Oh. <laughs> Blades. Got it. Ha ha ha! Practice makes perfect, right? Oh, so just a small game. We thought we'd uh, train with a tiny cube to uh, improve our hand-eye coordination. Better keep practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he wants to go outside. Wow, you got the digging thing down. Good boy, Scoop. Wait, Scoop? What's wrong with Scoop? Indeed, he does excel at Earth Excavation. No way! Scoop isn't even a name! Actually, I know a couple of Scoops. Ah, Professor Boulder, who's right here. Hi! What are all these holes for? Uh, we thought it was time to plant some trees, sir. Good thinking, recruits. The courtyard could use more plant life. I'll put in a request. Has anyone considered the name Close Call? Woohoo! Having four legs really pays off, huh, Bouncy? Yeah, no, we're not calling him Bouncy. I concur with Hotshot. We can come up with a better name. I think Schnoodles agrees. Ugh, Schnoodles? No, no way! Aw, oh, I thought it was cute. I've got it. I've thought of the perfect name. We shall call him... Dog! Why anything else? He is a dog, so there would be no confusion. It makes perfect sense. Ah, I believe he's trying to communicate with me. Yeah, to tell you dog is a horrible name. Woof! 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 That was the best circuit time yet, guys! Woof! 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 Good to see you getting some extra training in during your downtime, recruits. That's dedication. Um, what was that? Hoist has been making odd noises all day, sir. Perhaps he is due for a checkup. Whoa, huff! Hmm. Hmm, a new sound. I shall try to decode its meaning. It means he's sad, medics. But why? We've been having so much fun. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, he really likes our rescue alarm. Stay here, buddy. Schnoodles, come back! Excellent response time, recruit. Huh? What was that? It appeared to be a dog, sir. And there'd better be a good explanation for that when we get back. Now, we have a situation at the Griffin Rock Water Park. It's closed for the season, but a maintenance worker fell in while painting one of the slides. Your mission is to get him out. Rescue bot recruits, roll, roll to, to the, the rescue. rescue! Here's the plan. Save the human, then find our dog. Whoa, no way we can fit in that thing. Exactly. Our best option is to cut out the section that the worker is trapped in. Is there another way where we don't wreck the slide? I am afraid not. Hey, you found us. Good boy. Sorry, buddy. Not really the time to play tug of war. I don't think he wants to play. I think he wants to help. It looks like he wants you to drop your hook down the slide so you can pull the worker out. He said that? My translation was jelly bean flip-flop candle wick. Uh, I'd keep practicing. Huh? I think he's letting us know the human has the line. Yeah, I feel a tug. Oh, thanks. I was freezing in there. Oh, no, good no. boy. Excellent work, dog. Oh, bot's best friend. I think we all agree that Schnoodles should be an honorary rescue bot recruit. <laughs> now that I can translate. Don't call me Schnoodles. <laughs> We're really sorry we kept Bouncy a secret from you, Professor Heatwave. Scoop just followed us home. He was lost. We had to keep him. And Speedy really helped on the rescue. Schnoodles is part of our team now, sir. Wait, is there one dog or four? Just the one, sir. Well, I can tell you've all bonded with this little guy, but what if he's already part of someone else's family? Did any of you think of checking his collar for contact information? <sighs> sir? We know that the punishment for keeping a pet in the Academy is to sit out rescues. But would you allow us to go on one more mission first? To reunite this special dog with his owner? A worthy mission indeed. The ID tag has a Griffin Rock phone number. Let's call it. Hello, Murphy residence. <laughs> What's Heatwave doing with you? Heatwave? Oh, my husband Frank named him after his favorite rescue bot. Good choice. But why isn't he with Frank? They went hiking this morning. In fact, my husband should have been home by now. Wait, we did rescue everyone from that blizzard, right? <laughs> that sounds like a no. Come on, little heat wave. Show us where Mr. Murphy is. <laughs> How clever. He's using his sense of smell to guide us. This must be Mr. Murphy's backpack. But where is he? Help! Go find him, boy! Rescue by recruits here to help, sir. Are you okay? I sprained my ankle, but I feel better now that you're here. I got all turned around in the blizzard. I lost my backpack, my phone, then I fell over this rock. Heatwave was with me for a bit, but he ran off. He came to find us. <laughs> yeah, to let us know we'd missed you when we rescued everyone else. Ah, good boy, Heatwave. Hang on, Mr. Murphy. I'll get you to a doctor. Bye, much cuter than the other Heatwave. Good boy. Come back and visit soon. Woof. I can't believe we didn't realize Heatwave the dog followed us back here because he needed our help. He was one smart pup. <sighs> I miss having a pet. You won't have to. Is that fish for us? But what about Academy Rule 78B subsection? I've decided to make an exception, just this once. So what will we call her? Looks like a schnoodles to me. Hmm, schnoodles. Yeah, 
I'll buy that. Sure. Why not? Blub blub. I'm merely confirming with the fish that it likes its new name. And? Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.